So now we have all of our elements to put together our final dish. And today we're going to be focusing in on our sauteed Cajun shrimp pasta with a beautiful Creole sauce and grilled asparagus. So we have all our elements. We have our beautiful grilled, uh, our beautiful um, sauteed um, Cajun shrimp that I kept warm in the oven, so they're nice and warm. Then I have my nice and warm um, grilled asparagus that I cut in a couple different ways. And we're gonna plate this up in just a couple of different ways so you can see some different plating styles. So now that I have all my elements, I still have my warm pasta from earlier that I, that I tossed together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and refreshen this up just a little bit. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of my pasta water to this. It's been sitting for just a second just to kind of bring it back together. And on my first presentation, I want to add my asparagus and I'm kind of thinking about how's my customer going to eat this? And I have my nice warm asparagus here and I want to, I want to toss my asparagus for my first presentation into the pasta. So I have some asparagus tips that I've cut up from my grilled asparagus and I'm going to take these warm asparagus tips and I'm going to add them right here into my pasta. And you can see here that I have my asparagus tips in with my pasta. My pasta is nice and warm, my asparagus is nice and warm, and I'm just gonna lightly coat this again to make sure that I have my pasta that's nicely coated. And I'm gonna integrate all of my asparagus in with my pasta. And I'm going to actually add just a dash more. I wanna add just a dash more pasta sauce to this. I think it's a little bit light. So you're gonna use your best judgment. And that's looking actually really, really nice. And at this stage, what I'm going to do is now that I have it fully incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and start my plate up. So my nice warm pasta, what I wanna do is I'm going to take a serving spoon, and I'm gonna come in here with my pasta, and I'm gonna do my first plate. I'm gonna go right into the center, and I'm gonna to wanna to try to create a little bit of a mound. But I'm being a little bit more traditional, I also want to make sure that when you put your pasta in your plate that you have some of the nice beautiful asparagus on the outside so you can see the beautiful green of the asparagus just like so so my asparagus is incorporated into now i'm going to come in with my shrimp and we're going to do five pieces and with my shrimp i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to tail up but i'm going to lay them to where i get that nice beautiful char and you can have the tails all going in the same direction. There's two, three, four, and five. And I can come back in here just a little bit and rearrange like so. And you can still see the nice, beautiful asparagus. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna garnish my plate just a little bit. And I have some nice shredded Parmesan. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to lightly put a little bit of shredded Parmesan just over the top here of the pasta like so. You do not want to cover all the beautiful ingredients, but just a little bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Cajun seasoning. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I wipe my rim off just a little bit here. And I'm going to take just a little bit of my Cajun seasoning I'm just gonna do a little bit of a dusting right around the outside of the, where the shrimp are, just a tiny bit. And that's gonna cover your first plate up. You got a nice, beautiful asparagus that's incorporated into the pasta. So a little bit different when your customer's eating the pasta, they're gonna get bit, little bites and pieces of asparagus. And you have your nice, beautiful um, Cajun shrimp around your pasta. Now let's go ahead and try a different plate up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to heat up my uh, pasta here for just a second in my boiling water. I want it to be nice and hot. And again, it's going to have a little bit of that residual water from my pasta. I'm going to add my Cajun, uh, my Creole sauce. And again, I just wanna make sure that I'm being very delicate with this and I'm gonna to toss my pasta with my Creole sauce. And again, wanna make sure that I get nice coverage. I mean, it looks a little bit light to me, so I'm gonna add just a little more pasta, a little more uh, sauce to it, Cajun sauce. Get a nice coating. 
looks great. Now with this plate up, I'm kind of thinking something a little bit more visual. I'm thinking I want my asparagus to kind of really pop and stand out a little bit, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna come in with this guy here. I'm gonna start off with my pasta, same process. I'm gonna do my pasta in the center. Just like so, beautiful. Push this off to the side. Now I'm gonna come in with my shrimp and I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna add my nice warm shrimp, five pieces. Make sure that they're spread out evenly. Now I'm gonna do something just a little bit different with my asparagus here. I got my nice warm asparagus. I'm gonna take my asparagus and you can see I cut them a little bit longer and I'm gonna just create some interest and I'm gonna create towers that go in between my shrimp. And I'm just gonna do three just to create a little bit of height and a little bit of a different presentation. Now I'm gonna come back in with my little bit of uh, shredded Parmesan and I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of shredded Parmesan around the outside. Just like so. And just to kind of give it that little bit of color, I'm gonna come around with a little bit of seasoning and I'm going to add it around the edges of the bowl. Let me move this out of, out of the way. And there you have it. You have your sauteed Cajun shrimp pasta with Creole sauce and grilled asparagus plated up two different ways.